Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all well. So in today's episode of Let's Talk Creps, we're gonna be talking about the Air Max 90 Tokyo Olympic 2020. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. I upload every Saturday. And with that all being said, let's jump straight into this video. Okay, so just a little bit of history about the shoe before I get into it like I always do. Inside the box we have the Air Max 90 Tokyo Olympics 2020, which was released in 2020 I believe. Uh, it came in your standard Nike sportswear box, you need the red and white, um, and the size label is there. So the colorway is white, metallic gold, white, this is the UK 10. And I believe they're currently going on StockX for about £145, which honestly, in my opinion, is an absolute steal for this shoe. Um, it's really slept on. I don't know why, because of it's a really clean colorway and the materials are pinnacle. They're so good. Like, Nike's actually done a really nice shoe here, and it makes me sad that it's slept on, if I'm honest. Um, the the whole thing about the Poshi 2012 Olympics and how it didn't go ahead with COVID and all that, and it got postponed to 21, uh, is a really cool story. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you all about COVID because I'm pretty sure we're all aware of that by now. <laughs> and uh, I'm probably sick to death of hearing about it and glad that we are where we are now. Um, but anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into the shoe a bit more. So it has this embroidered leather mudguard, which has a sort of like, Asian oriental design on it, obviously to go with the Tokyo Olympics. Let's see if I can get it on the camera, I hope it picks it up. But it wrapped all the way around the mud guard, and it's something that I didn't even notice the shoe had until I had it, basically. So it has like koi fish on it and all sorts, flowers, really, really cool idea, really cool design. Um, also has this smooth leather, which actually feels like leather. It doesn't feel like it's a synthetic stuff. So that's really cool. Has this really high quality, tight knitted mesh on the toe box and a really plush and soft sock liner, which is lovely as well. Um, has, this, has an actual unique tongue as well. It has the 2020 in the in the gold and the shine. And even in the insole, it has 2020 as well. Um, you have this really bright metallic gold heel plate, which is obviously meant to, re mess, uh, meant to represent sort of like gold winning Olympics, you know, Olympic medals. Same with this swoosh, very reflective. And it goes on to the Air Max logo there, very reflective and nice gold aglets as well. Um, really just nicely made shoe. It's got this the gold air unit with the red air surround and your standard 90 waffle outsole in this dark rich red and the black, which really uh, accompanies it very nicely. Um, no differences between the shoes. Um, I actually think even the embroidery is the same on the shoes, which is really cool as well. Um, so yeah, with that all being said, I'm going to jump to some on foot. Okay, so that just about sums up today's video on this shoe. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's all free, it costs you nothing, and it helps you massively grow in the channel. Also, comment down below if you've got any questions regarding this shoe or any other shoes I've covered on the channel. It's called Let's Talk Creps for a reason. Let's talk about them. But until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video.